as we continue our series on tube cutting, uh, I wanted to show you how to do a little more of a complex contour or cut into a round profile. So let's jump into our material catalog. I'm going to open up pipe and tube, tube, choose the round. We'll just grab some aluminum here. We'll go one and a half inch at 065, and I'm going to download that DXF, and then we'll jump right into Fusion 360. So first things first, let's grab a hold of that DXF we just downloaded and pull that profile in. That way we know we're starting with the right shape exactly and we don't have anything to worry about. So give that just a sec. Hit OK. All right, there's our profile. Let's go ahead and extrude that. In this case, I'm just going to go 8 inches on that extrusion. And you can see there, there's our nice pipe. It's going to fit uh, the exact contour and profile that we have in stock. So from here, I'm going to do something kind of fun. So we're going to take, I, I download or I download and created a maze. Actually, it's an SVG file. And I want to show you how to do, and this is a pretty complex contour, but I want to show you how to do something kind of neat uh, into the surface of this, this tube. So we're going to bring this maze in. I happened to, I played with this a little bit before, so... We're going to increase that scale just a little bit, and then I'm going to get this position right where I want it. So what I want this maze to do is I actually want it to basically wrap all the way around the pipe. And you'll see here in a second what it does, but um, I want it to wrap from side to side. So that looks pretty good to me. We'll say OK. Go ahead and finish our sketch. So at this point, pretty basic. All we've got is our tube and a little flat sketch that we created. I'm going to now come into Create over here and Emboss. And on the Emboss, first it's going to ask us to select our sketch profile. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll select the face that we want to emboss that onto. You can kind of see a little bit of what it's doing cutting there. But uh, over here we have an emboss and a deboss effect. We're going to choose deboss. And then this happens to be 0.065 thickness for the wall thickness. And so I'm going to just go ahead and make sure I get 0.1 so I'm easily cutting to that wall thickness. Let's go ahead and say OK and just see what this does for us. And there you can see there's the part and that part has got the maze entirely cut out and it pretty well meets in the back at about the same thickness uh, as the thickness of the lines of the maze. So that turns out really nice. I think that's a, that's a pretty neat uh, maze pattern on this round part. So let's go ahead and export this as it sets right there. Tube maze. Export that file and jump back in here to the browser and upload this. Make sure everything's going to take all right. And it takes just a minute to upload and pull some of these more complex parts in, but yep, took it just fine. Perfect. Okay, so let's let's pick our material again. We'll just go back to where we started, but you can see right here. I mean, here is this incredibly detailed and complex part. Um, and the thing the thing to realize with this embossing is that these are effectively perpendicular cuts into the surface of that material. So that laser is going to cut that beautifully. Um, we'll go ahead and get that submitted and show you the final product here at the end of this. But if you want to do, you know, again, this is just an example in our learning series here. Um, as you're playing with the tube tools, if you want to cut more complex shapes into different profiles, whether it's round or even some of the rounded contour edges, um, that's all doable with the laser. It can, it can do some really amazing things. And so uh, I wanted to show you just that so you could actually understand how you can go about doing that. There's other ways to do it, but that's a pretty slick and simple way to go about it. Uh, and it's cool because you can take SVG files, you can take brand imagery, whatever you want, and wrap around those tubes um, with some pretty amazing results. So anyway, hopefully you got something out of that, uh, and we're excited to see what you're going to create with it.